Many of you have been asking how to make a bed in the room for the one point perspective. What you need to start off with is the basic rectangle shape. If you notice here, I have a line that I erased that made a basic rectangle shape where I want the foot of my bed to be. So on this piece of paper, I'm going to start towards the floor and I'm going to start the corner of my shape right about here where the wall meets the floor. If you want your bed up next to the wall. So I'm going to start a rectangle shape, rotate my paper, do another vertical line, make sure my T-square is lined up, however tall you want the foot of your bed to be. So I have a basic rectangle for the bed, for the foot of the bed. So I'm going to erase off the wall that is in between it, the corner of the wall and the floor. Now I'm going to take this corner here, this corner here, and this corner here back to this vanishing point. You can use a T-square or ruler, just make sure that you line these up. So I'm lined up to this vanishing point and this point of this. I don't need to make it all the way. Remember, we're going to go from a two-dimensional rectangle to a rectangular prism. So I'm going to rotate this paper, draw a line from this corner, to this vanishing point and again I probably won't take it all the way back to that vanishing point and I'm going to rotate my paper again and draw a line from this corner to the vanishing point this time I decided I'm going to stop right here where the floor meets this wall so it doesn't look like a rectangular prism yet I'm going to take this t-square and from where the bed or from this, this corner here meets this wall, I'm going to draw a 90 degree angle line, a vertical line, straight up here until it meets this corner right here. I'm gonna rotate my paper again from the side, a 90 degree angle. I am going to draw from this corner that I just made And now it looks like I have a three-dimensional shape. So I can erase this part. I'm going to erase the floor that is underneath this, where it meets the wall. And there is the start of my rectangular prism, which is going to be the bed. From here, I can make The headboard, I just do another vertical line, continue this up, slide this over, do another vertical line right here, rotate my paper, and do a 90 degree angle line from the side to create my headboard. So there is a start of my headboard. Uh, maybe I might want to make it a little fancier headboard. I can put a top here. I can put these little spindles coming down to make it look fancy. All the time I'm going a 90 degree angle from the bottom of my paper. Make it almost look like a little ladder type thing.
So there is the start of the headboard of my bed. <clears throat> For the bottom part, I could make it have legs so that it comes down. So maybe about here, draw a line 90 degree angle from the side. So here could be the legs of my, my bed. I can erase off this part that made the rectangle. I can do another 90 degree angle line here for this leg over here. And let's do another 90 degree angle back here on this leg. Take the top of this line back to this vanishing point. So I've lined it up to that vanishing point. And now it's starting to look more like a bed. You've got the legs there. I can take this corner here back to this vanishing point. Stop it, make another vertical line, and it will look like a three-dimensional leg, a wooden leg. So there is the start of a regular bed. I just started with a basic rectangle shape, and I made it into a rectangular prism.